Welcome back. Am I in the right spot? Yeah? Yeah. I'm just right in this brush. Is that good? Today I'm at Leroy Lake, prepared to do some spring bass fishing. I have a little bit of a plan for today's video. I will explain in just a few moments. Let's go ahead and change spots now. This spot's kind of not the best. It's just because of the brush, you know? So the idea I kind of have for today's video is to do like a, a mystery taco box challenge like an MTB slam, if you will. The only thing that's kind of different from any regular Mystery Taco Box challenge is I don't actually have the physical box with me today. What I've kind of decided to do is kind of maybe look up what is in a current Mystery Taco Box and then try my best to replicate that with lures I currently have. Ooh, look at this spot. All right, so I'm now located next to the lake that we're going to be putting our watercraft into. So you kind of get a look of what it's like. The rain might be setting in this afternoon at around 2 p.m. So we should have uh, several hours before that happens. Look at this spot. Our 17 foot watercraft is all ready to go, ready to launch, ready for takeoff, as am I. Let's just begin our fake made up mystery tackle box challenge. The goal is going to be to catch a bass of, I believe it's 18 inches. I can't be positive on that, but I can do a quick Google search. And we've got along with us a uh, measuring board that I can use to actually verify the length of the fish is correct. Let's launch our watercraft into this here lake with our mystery taco box lures. Sort of. Let's begin. Ow, oh, God, those are sharp. Here we are. Wait, is there any cell service here? That's an issue. That's an issue for me, actually. Just because I was actually planning to look up what's in a current mystery tackle box. So I might have to alter my plan just, just a little bit. Just a smidge. Perhaps? No, absolutely not. This is a very sturdy one that we cannot get by. I'm, I'm perplexed. I'm baffled. I'm at a point in the bridge of thought that I cannot cross. Well, I gotta do something. New plan. I've recently discovered that I'm not going to be able to access the internet uh, at the very location that I'm currently in. It kind of interferes with the plan I had of accessing the internet and looking at different lures from a current Mr. Taco Box. And that's the other thing, the other problem I've ran into is I actually don't know how long the bass needs to be in order to qualify for a completed challenge. I believe it's 18 inches, we'll just go with that. 18 inch bass on lures that I think might be found in a mystery taco box. This is very, this is very like choose your own, like fake mystery taco box challenge. Like I thought it was bad before and now I'm just selecting random lures. Like basically I'm not even doing a challenge. I'm selecting my own lures at random and then trying to catch a large bass. That's what I would do anyways. Let's just go ahead with this challenge. I'll just go with this. So I'm gonna try to say this without sounding like a tool, but um, I think this might be found in the mystery tackle box, so I'm gonna use it. This is perhaps the dumbest thing I've ever done. What is this challenge anyway? All I'm doing is fishing with lures I want. Am I in the frame? Here's the first lure I'm gonna be using for my uh, fake mystery tackle box choose your own lure challenge. Somewhat of a deep diving, double jointed crankbait, something rather. I think if I got a mystery tackle box, this would be in it. So it's pretty much good. Give this a shot. I don't know if I'm loving this to be straight. Might have to dive into my mystery taco box, my hypothetical mystery taco box, and change it up. We'll give this a few more. This is a, a rather large twig. That's a tree. Well, my made up mystery taco box challenge has made it legal for me to switch lures anytime to whichever lure I want. So I'm going to do that now. An interesting challenge to say the least. All right, well. Oh wow, what even is this thing? Well, sometimes you're surprised by what's in a mystery taco box, so I'll be surprised with this. I don't know how to really describe this thing. I don't know if it's a frog or if it's tadpole in the late stages of tadpole life going to the early stages of frog. So there's that. Okay, here's the rig. The jig head is not being used for the purpose intended, but that's how it's gonna work for me today. This'll work. All right, second lure's been rigged. I like the look of this way better. I'm very confident with this mystery taco box lure. Ooh, look at that. The remains of what was once a cabin, I think, or something. Yeah, something like that. Oh, wow. Yep, that's there. I'm fully engaged at the moment. There appears to be smallmouth bass near the area. Oh, wow. Look at that area. That's another top contender. This is it here. Oh, there's one. Yep, that's... Yep, feels like a decent one, I reckon. There we go. What did I say? Look at that, eh? Look at this. Uh-oh. Wow. He just 
crushed that tadpole late stages. Right, oh gosh, almost dropped him there. That would have been tragic. Right along this little rock gravel area here. I assume it kind of extends. He came like halfway between the boat and the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, look at that. Look at right below us right there. Huge boulder right there. We're gonna have to stick around for a while longer after I release this guy here, but no wonder. Let me turn around. Because if I don't, I might cramp up. We can't have that. First fish of the 2023 season. Let me just measure it up here quick. Is it our winner? Oh no, it is not. I can confidently leave a 16 inch bass on our hands. Ladies and gentlemen, official measurement of 16 inches falls two inches short of our challenge completion size bass. Dumbest challenge ever, doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and release this guy. Oh wow, is this another boulder or is this the same one? Have I been surprised twice by the same rock? Probably. You know, you know what they say, where there's one, there's more than one. Or there's others or something. Something like that. Quite the rock area. Just an, an absolutely gynominosaurus rock here. Gigantosaurus rock. I'm on. I'm on with a smallmouth bass once again. This one's a little bit smaller. There we go. This, this spot, this is one of those spots that you just know, you know what I mean? So that one's not gonna make the cut for uh, a challenge completing bass. But another nice one on the freaking tadpole, right in, in between these these like markers. And there's a few of them. So that kind of makes me say that I might come out of here with, a, with several bass. So here we have our second smallmouth bass, just in amongst these uh, these inflatable, I don't know why I call them inflatable, like obviously they float their, their plastic jugs. Along these plastic jugs here, marking structure, which is where these bass are thriving. That one's not gonna complete the challenge for us, but another one on our mystery tackle box, choose your own lure challenge. You know, I'm getting pretty talented at these underwater releases, I think. Something to improve on maybe is my hook set there. I sort of, uh, how would you say, I caught air, eh? But yeah, I kind of made the boat shake a bit. This is the spring smallmouth bass fishing that I'm looking for. Thank, thank goodness I got this tadpole in my mystery tackle box this month. Oh, I'm on again. Don't worry about the net, I can just... Or maybe you should worry about the net, it's a decent one. Oh yeah, this is the best one of the day. This one 100% this one breaks the 18, the 18 inch mark. Oh my goodness. And there, out comes the tadpole. Take a gander at the size of this fish. The, by far the biggest bass of the day, or whatever challenge I'm calling it, choose your own lure. <laughs> the troll. The third fish of the day secures me the completed challenge. Look at that fish. Is there dust on it? No, we're good. Dust, it wouldn't be dust. Exactly 18 inches. This spot is magnificent. My knees are getting quite sore. So have we got the shot? Okay. <laughs> Just soaked. I'm just soaked now. I don't think I got much of an underwater release, but we'll have to see what I got. I don't even think the GoPro made it underwater before uh, I was hosed, so. Well, I can proudly say, I mean, the challenge is no more. I've completed it. Check, basically. I thought that one crushed the 18 inch mark. Well, you know what? It might be 16 inches for the bass. I'll find out. Maybe this challenge I've made up could get even more fake after all. Look at this. Gee whiz. Uh, I just said gee whiz, so that's a problem. Um, look at the rocks here. Rocks are up here, give or take two feet, I'd say. It goes down on either side. Boulders here and there and everywhere. Hopefully that kind of gives you an idea. Who knows? There we go. Yep. Oh, that, oh, that's a good one. Yep, that's a really good one. Yeah, that's definitely, oh my gosh. Potential, wow. Right on the right side of this ridge. Can you see it on the GoPro? I hope so. Well, what can I say? I mean, oh gosh. I might look like a clown, but it's just because my knees are getting sore here. Fish counter stands at four smallmouth bass in this little area. Basically how you describe a perfect area. Tadpole comes up big once again. It's great. Yeah, anyways, there we go. Let this guy go. That was elegant. Fantastic. I said that like, like I was programmed to buy a computer. Like what is wrong with me? Shallow up here creates this uh, half dome effect. No one understands what half dome effect means. What a good challenge idea, eh? Because it allows me to basically do whatever I want, which is great. I think calling it a challenge is like a disgrace. Possibly. Because, there we go. Yep, I'm on, good one. 
Oh my, that was like right away. You bit it right away. That was remarkable. That was like two seconds after it hit the water. I just got right on the ridge. I'm standing for some reason. Why does it have to be so difficult to measure my bass? I have to move a net, a paddle. This one is about 18 again. Where are we? There we go. Another extremely nice smallmouth bass here. This might be a cool underwater area because it's kind of more shallow. So I'll definitely make sure to get that. Yeah, I pretty much got nothing, I don't think. We've stopped here on shore for a little bit. I'm just gonna do some fishing from shore. Tons of spots along the shore. I'm just gonna work my way down this road here. See what I can do there. 